Hi, I'm Marcy Degman, the aspiring gardener, and today we're going to talk about growing trees and Epsom salts. Now, I know there's a lot of controversy about whether Epsom salts really do any good for plants or not. And what I found to be true is that it's a good source of magnesium. It's also a source of sulfur, which may or may not be necessary. They say there's usually plenty of that in the soil, but if you have a known magnesium deficiency, it's a definite way to get some magnesium to your tree roots without having to do much else but go to the drugstore. So it, it isn't bad, it isn't gonna harm your plants, but the thing to remember is it's really a source of magnesium. It doesn't have nit you know, nit nitrogen, potash, and potassium like your balanced fertilizers do. So what you wanna use it as a supplement to your fertilizer. So it's not an inclusive fertilizer and that's all you put down and nothing else. Now, the amount that you use isn't very high either. If you have a large tree, you want to give two tablespoons per three foot area. So with this little small maple, I've only got maybe a, at best a, a couple feet around. So I'm going to go ahead and use one teaspoon. And I'm going to just use it straight out of the bag and I'm going to just incorporate it into the soil. So I'm just going to go down just enough to kind of get it towards the roots and I'm going to sprinkle that around and just kind of cover it up and then when I go to water it's going to give the tree a dose of magnesium and sulfur. Now you can also take water, a, a quart, gallon, depending on the size of tree, and just dissolve your Epsom salts in the water and you can do it that way as well. So you can't really hurt your trees and it could help your trees. It'll give them a dose of magnesium. If they're deficient, it could be just the thing they need. And supposedly it's gonna help you have greener foliage, and more flowers.